Hey guys, welcome back and happy Thursday. You will be excited to watch this video because I figured out a way to sterilize your mask with products that you can actually still get your hands on. I could go into a really long and quite boring discussion about why a certain kind of UV light kills viruses, bacteria, and principally the coronavirus, but this is a well-documented fact. Feel free to look it up. Don't take my word for it, but it can't be any kind of UV light. It has to be UVC light and most of our lights are UVA and UVB lights. So we have to track down UVC light and let me show you how I did that. Now UV light works, UVC light works to kill microorganisms, AKA viruses, by penetrating their cell walls and damaging their DNA. And once this happens, the virus is no longer able to replicate, which is why we wanna use the UV light to disable the virus and we win, the virus loses, that's the goal. So let's look further into that. Now, the only challenge with UVC light is that it is so powerful against killing things that you cannot be in contact with it. So you don't want it coming into contact with your eyes or your skin, but that's okay because we're not trying to sterilize those things. What's an average person to do? If you have a time machine and $200, you can go back in time about a month and buy one of these UV sterilization boxes, but they're nearly impossible to get your hands on now. Don't fret, I found other ways for the rest of us to survive. But the thing to take away from this box is that it is completely enclosed. And that is because again, you do not want UVC light coming into contact with your eyes or your skin. So something to keep in mind. What's that? You don't have $200 or a time machine? You're in luck. This thing is about $20 and there are some of them still left on Amazon. And basically this is a UVC light that you would put inside of a filter and then submerge inside of an aquarium, usually for fish. Um, it's the exact same thing, guys. It's UVC light. But again, you do not want to come into contact with it. So what do we do? We put it in a box. We can put it in a cardboard box or some other options that I found here. But those glasses, if you're looking at that light when it's turned on, which I wouldn't recommend, you need to have those glasses. And everything that you see in this video is linked below. So you can take that wand that I just showed you and put it inside this 23-inch cooler and there you go. You can disinfect your masks, your gloves, your cell phone, your car keys, and pretty much anything else that you can fit in there. So that is what my family and I are doing. And I don't even have these items yet because I literally researched this all day yesterday and came up with this for you guys. And I wanted to film the video right now while there are still supplies available. Now, this is a light that's made for, you know, anti-germicidal properties. I guess you can put it in a room. Um, but it's more expensive and it's not available right now. So if you want to wait three or four weeks, you can get your hands on this. Again, all of this is linked down below. But again, guys, it's just UVC light. It has to go inside of something. So this very next case that you're going to see, this thing is only about nine or 10 inches long. So there you go. You can put it in there and, you know, cut a hole, go over it with masking tape or duct tape. And there you go. You have an enclosure where you can put your items and you can sterilize them and reuse them. All right, this last one is digging a little, but I did a lot of research and I thought, let me go ahead and include it. So it's this lamp and it has a very specific kind of uh, LED receptor, a little two prong, I think it's called a G23 two pin receptor. And these little tiny UVC lamp bulbs are made to go in there for aquariums, but you can stick them in this lamp. So again, all listed below. Um, I'm just giving you guys multiple options because of course there's gonna be a run on this stuff because as people realize, oh, UV light kills viruses, everybody and their brother is going to want them. If you don't believe me, go to Amazon using any link that you like and you will see that I am telling you the truth. But again, same rules apply here. We have to build an enclosure, something to go around it. I mean, guys, be creative, you know, use what you have, but it doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to close in the light. This is the last one that I found, and this is actually a really cool little option. It's a rechargeable USB version, and supposedly, however this thing is built, you can just kind of set it out on a table or in your car, and, and it will disinfect things up to five feet. I don't know how I personally feel about that, but I do feel like if you put this inside of an enclosed lunch cooler, I'd feel real good about the level of sanitization that was happening. And the reason I'm including this last picture is I just want you to see, this is just, this is another one, and I think this one's like $150. And you can see it has the lights running across the top. But guys, desperate times, right? We have to be creative and work with what we have. So this is nothing more than a fancy lunchbox with UVC lighting being pumped into it. So we can do that at home. If you need to sanitize a mask, which I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna need to do, 
then this is going to be a completely viable option for you unless of course you want to wait many months for these items to return and come back into stock. All right, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. I hope you guys found that helpful. I was jumping for joy when I realized that UVC light is what's contained in these little lamps. So what's the takeaway? UVC lights and dirty masks equals protection because you can sanitize them and reuse them. To that end, you need to, for ideal protection, I would do both sides for approximately 30 minutes. That's probably overkill, but that's exactly what we're going for. And if you want to be notified when I upload new videos, just click subscribe and turn on that little bell notification. All right, guys, stay safe. Don't forget to smile, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.